It's one of those days. I'm really stuck. Where mountain living is truly testing us. Recovery number two of the morning. We are rolling with the punches. And I'm like, all right, just like five feet more. Boom! And turning this day around. It's an exciting day. Here goes nothing. Subscribe and come along as we get ready for a big reveal. Now there's only one thing left to do. Open up this door. Oh, what's up guys? Good morning. Welcome back. Uh, last night you guys saw me spend like an hour and a half plowing our road and plowing the driveway. And this morning, it basically looks like I did nothing. The snow is piling up. Like it is unreal. It just keeps coming and keeps coming. Like this tree right here, there's so much snow on that tree that I feel like it could fall down. I don't know. Like it's just, the snow is insane. Look at how close our roof is to the ground. I could basically walk up onto the roof. It's just, uh, it's nothing short of insane. And uh, it's really putting the engineering of our garage to the test. Once we get the metal roof on, all the snow is gonna slough off of the roof. So like, it's never gonna retain as much snow as it's retaining right now. But like, I plowed right here last night. There's already like a foot and it's supposed to snow again all night tonight. By the end of this winter, there's gonna be a lot of for sale signs up here. Cause the past few years have been super mild up here and people that don't love snow and love this type of environment are gonna be like wanting to get rid of their cabins up here. I guarantee it. Anyway, Sydney, our uh, nanny was on her way up and she's stuck. So we're gonna head down see if we can help her out. Then we'll be back here and I'll snow blow the driveway again. I'm actually really surprised because it was supposed to snow every hour from last night for the next 48 hours. And it's clear and beautiful this morning. <clears throat> when I checked the weather a few days ago, it said four inches yesterday and four inches today. Oh. And nothing this morning. Okay. So like it's still true to what the forecast was. It's just that four inches down in the valley like means a lot up here. So we got like a foot. So <laughs> I'm guessing like later today we'll probably get another foot, wow. which is you know, it's fine. It's just gonna be a lot more snow removal. Yeah. All right, no hitting of her car. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> we'll, get you, we'll get you taken care of. Is it okay if I move your seat? Oh yeah. It's really hard for me to get in here. Look where your seat's at. I almost made it to the top. Okay. And then I like fell into the ditch. Oh. I gotta go backwards. Yeah. A lot of times even when it's like kind of dark and overcast, I'll put on my sunglasses because that'll like help kind of show definition in the snow, which makes me look like an idiot though. Valiant effort by Sydney because these roads are very difficult to see on right now. Everything is just, just all blends in together. Um, and she is going to make it. We, we got her. Um, I think Trent was having as hard a time as Sydney trying to drive her Jeep out. So now Trent's going to just try to yank her out of this ditch. And then I'm not sure if we're going to see if we can drive the Jeep up this hill or if he's just going to pull it up the hill. Either way, we're getting you out. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We're gonna see if you can drive forward. Low expectations here, but put it in four low if you can. Okay, and then inch slowly forward if you can. Not yet. Whoa! Can do it. <laughs> okay, now Trent is driving. No pressure. Now there's a car coming. Do you want to let them pass? No, I don't. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go, Trent. Oh, uh, sliding all over the place. So close. Ah, like right uh, 
car, he's almost there. He's peeling out so bad. Trent drove Sydney's Jeep up there. Sydney and I are gonna attempt to drive the truck up there. You ready for this? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sydney the videographer. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Great success. We all made it back to the house. No casualties. Lots and lots of fun. <laughs> Things can get pretty crazy up here on the mountain. Doesn't matter whether we're working on the garage, working on a truck, snowmobiling, driving around the mountain, and we prioritize safety, which is why we take life insurance very seriously. And that brings us to today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Fabric by Gerber Life. Fabric has partnered with Gerber Life, trusted by millions of families like yours for over 50 years, and their lower prices offer significant savings over other providers, with quality policies like a million dollars in coverage for less than a dollar a day. My favorite part about Fabric is that you could be offered coverage instantly, and it only takes about 10 minutes to sign up. Nobody has time to call and make appointments and tell people about your finances, and with Fabric, you don't have to. It's fast, it's easy, and you can do it on your own time. If you go to meetfabric.com slash Trent and Allie, Fabric makes it easy to apply with its seamless digital experience. In just 10 minutes, you can apply, see your quote, and personalize it to fit your family's needs. So protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Apply in just 10 minutes. You can click the link in our description, or you can go to meetfabric.com slash Trent and Allie. Thanks again to Fabric for sponsoring today's video. Now I'm gonna get out of the garage and we're gonna get to work. I'm starting to really enjoy this like morning ritual we have where you just wake up and immediately start snow blowing and shoveling and clearing stuff off the deck and moving the cars around. It's very like invigorating. I got up easy, darling. Got no more time for loving you. why anyone wouldn't want to live up here. It's great exercise. <laughs> As you knock off a light bulb from our tractor. You know, these things, I mean, the, light, the <laughs> ice that throws on there uh, <laughs> disconnected this. Wow. Oh. It'll work anyways, I think they're broken, but brand new tractor basically. The easy part is over and I am already sweating and I haven't even done anything yet. Vehicles are getting moved around, the tractor is snow blowing all the snow, and I have to start tackling the stairs. They're coming to get me tomorrow. Got no more time for loving you. Oh, they're coming to get me tomorrow. Got no more what did you just say? After I ran into Rusty, I figured I may as well make a little trail around it so we can open up the back. I drove a little too far. I'm really stuck. Oh, Trenny guy. You want your recovery skills to stay sharp. So you could argue that Trent got stuck accidentally, or you could argue this is all part of the plan. I did this because Allie looked like she needed a break. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just still cannot believe that. Oh my goodness. Recovery number two of the morning. It's gonna be that kind of day, you know? Um, just reverse slowly while you pull? Just basically push reverse on the pedal. Okay. A little bit, you just want the tires to barely move. Don't like get them spinning. All right. All right, let's do this, everybody. It is really tight in here. Okay, he wants me to just gently go backwards. Here we go. Come on. Like butter. Like butter. 
<laughs> we actually both really love driving the tractor. You don't get to see me on camera doing it very much because whenever I'm driving the tractor, there's some big issues going on and it's a little bit more stressful to be filming because it means Trent is in the middle of something else also. Maybe I should drive the tractor for the rest of the day. Yeah, we'll have a lot of recoveries if that happens. <laughs> I really loved, like loved, driving our old black Cummins. <sighs> and I'm pretty excited about this new one. <laughs> All right, now we've got Allie backing up her new truck. Hopefully she doesn't run it into Rusty either. She would never do that. There you go. You don't even have to give it gas. You just let it walk. Well, not now, you've dug a hole. Go forward again. This is why I ran into Rusty, because you kind of got to give it a little momentum coming up the driveway. And when everything's white, it all just blends in, okay? It's a bad excuse, but it's all I've got. Okay? And just let it idle in reverse. Okay. I just like touched it, it's so sensitive. I and I'm wearing you're... these big boots that like I can't articulate I my ankle. Yeah, and you're used to driving the TRX and you just have to push the gas in this. It's like, you don't as soon as you it. even get it to move this far, it's, like, it's almost too much. Yeah, so. so. Should I pull yeah. forward again or is it? Um, a little bit. Yes, yes, less. Keep going, you're good. I would say probably the biggest issue that I had is since the snowmobile was in the bed and the tailgate was down, there's no backup camera. And I use the backup camera in every vehicle. So when it isn't there in the truck, it's like always this like, oh, I have to use the mirrors. And like, I know a lot of people that grew up without backup cameras are like, that's why you should never rely on the backup camera. And I don't always rely on it. I, I used the mirrors. The issue is everything was white. And even right now, Allie couldn't see behind her and it's the middle of the day and it's not snowing. When I came home, it was snowing. It was like insect clouds. It was yeah. dark. I forgive you. Yeah. It's okay. It's it was okay. a, it was a mega idiot mistake, it's but okay. somebody's got to make them, you know? <laughs> better you than me. <laughs> yeah, better me than Allie. That's it. Company retreat to Mexico. It's a sled now. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Leo sled. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can take the snowblower on the tractor and just drive into any snowbank and just go all the way through it. Right. And oh. like this, like compacted snow, it's not even frozen. It's slushy. Like everything is melting. Like mm -hmm. this is all. That's slush. Yeah. It's like warm enough out here that all this is melting. And the snowblower like just sits and like pins against it and can't like chop through it. Everything is going swimmingly, but Trent's rant of the day is that we need to upgrade our on the deck snowblower because it's just not cutting it anymore. I'm just sick of wrestling this thing and this iceberg is getting bigger yeah. with every storm. Yeah. Like we can't get to the bottom of it. You can shovel it. No, we can't. <laughs> we can jump. Go, jump, jump. Look at that. Jump right up on top. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. How tall is that? Shoulder? It's pretty tall. <laughs> the snow that I'm standing on is, I mean, this is uh, 46 inches. Wow. So that's like legit. My body, like, every muscle was like fatigued and I was just like dead. Drained. And I had to drive home for like an hour and a half. Ugh. So I like finally get home and I'm like trying to get up the driveway and it's like was 
peeling out and kept sliding into the bank over here. So I like go to the bottom and I like give it some gas and it's like, brruh, 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 you know, like getting up. And it's like probably where Sydney's Jeep is. And I'm like, all right, just like five feet more, boom. And like just my relation to where the truck was in relation to where the garage was, I thought I was way closer to like in front of the TRX garage door. Right. And like, I just felt that and I was like, Dang it! Yeah, Still tailgate. functions though, right? The tailgate. Yeah, you had to mean, hammer yeah. it back into place. I shut it and I couldn't <laughs> get it back open again. Shoot. But it's it's whatever, man. It's part of life, you know. If you don't ever run into anything, then you're not really you're not, living. You're not living. <laughs> <laughs> Go run some stuff over with your truck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is there a place with sun all year round? And pina coladas with pretty faces and sand on the ground. Yeah. I wanna stop this ongoing train. Yeah. Before I lose my mind and go insane. I don't wanna sleep every night. I wanna light a spark in the dark. I don't want to say I'm okay Living the same every day Come run beside me, let's take off Warm, sunny, snow blown, and finally ready to actually get some work done for the day. I think today is going to be a little bit more exciting than I was anticipating. Initially, when we framed out the garage, we didn't know when we were gonna get our garage doors. So these guys put plastic over the garage door openings to protect from the snow and the wind and the rain and keep it insulated inside the garage. Well, we have the garage doors installed and they've been saying, now nah, we're gonna keep up the plastic because it does help with an extra added layer of insulation. Except today, I think we're changing that. There's a few things that are motivating this. One, I've got to go pick up a bunch of steel so that I can fabricate a big welding table for Trent's garage. I'm doing that tomorrow and it's supposed to snow tonight. So I'm going to try and move this truck in the garage, at least for the night, if we can make it fit and make space for it. And that way it won't fill the bed with snow. We've got to shovel the snow that's in the bed right now out of there. Yeah. But at least overnight it won't have another foot of snow in it because I'm going to put raw steel in there and I don't want it to get rusty. So. We've already got enough rusty parked right over here. We've already got this piece of crap right here. <laughs> uh, so basically we're going to pop off these 2x6s and uh, the 2x12 on the bottom, get this plastic out of the way, throw our weather stripping up. But this is going to be the first reveal of what our garage doors look like from the outside. Oh, cool. Very exciting. I am actually still going to leave the plastic on that garage door because I want to be able to open up that garage door to bring in light without letting out all the heat. Mm. It's going to be very important. It's already difficult to film in there because of the low lighting situation. So sometimes we need to have auxiliary light, but we don't want to open up the door and just let all the heat escape. Very fortressy. I think it looks pretty snazzy as long as these aren't scratches. Eh, it's all gonna be scratches eventually. No, I think it looks snazzy. <laughs>
All right, so we got our weather stripping on, we got the plastic removed, and now there's only one thing left to do. Open up this door and clean, so maybe we can fit a vehicle in here, but open the door anyway. Woo! Hey! We've done it! It looks so good! We're no longer trapped in a Dexter room. Yeah. Exciting day, here goes nothing. We're like two inches to spare. All of a sudden, this garage does not look so big anymore. Yep. Fits. It fits. Interesting. All right, well, because I don't want a swimming pool in the bottom of the garage where I'm going to be building this metal table tomorrow, uh, all this snow still needs to melt, and it is warm enough outside that this is all turning to slush and melting. So I'm gonna pull this thing back outside. We just wanted to make sure that it fit. Huh. Uh, and then I'll pull it back in later after all the snow has melted. First ever truck test fit in the garage. Success. You! <laughs> plastic off. I was like really concerned that if I took the plastic off it was gonna like really affect the ability to keep heat in here because that was kind of like an air sealing but that weather stripping actually seals up really nice. The only parts that aren't like sealed now is like against the concrete and the weather stripping down there and I don't really care about that tiny little spot hmm. so okay. I think uh, the weather stripping is doing just fine. The garage door is functional. Tomorrow we'll be able to back up and just unload the metal right here. Perfect. There's a piece of metal that Brandon and I have to move that carries weighs like 400 pounds, so. Use all your lifts and jack yeah. devices. Don't hurt yourself. No, we're just gonna have to use our hands. Use your snowmobile ramp. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the only other thing we could do right now is start running wire for the electrical. And the thing that really upsets me about that is I have to drill like a thousand holes in all of these studs mm -hmm. and we've cleaned this garage like seven times already. <laughs> and like as soon as I start drilling those holes, there is wood bits and pieces everywhere. It's true. It makes a huge mess. And so I don't really want to get into that today, but in the next episode, we'll start tackling all of the electrical. And then I'm hoping the episode after that, Dean is going to show up. And when Dean shows up, we're going to be able to get our water heater running because we're gonna have gas ran to the water heater. Um, he's gonna assess everything for the furnace, all the ducting. We're gonna be able to run the exhaust for the water heater, and then we'll be able to do the rest of the electrical. I uh, got my work cut out for me. My hair is getting uh, rather wild and I wear a beanie pretty much all day unless I like actually take a shower and do my hair. If I don't do my hair, it looks absolutely insane. And uh, a lot of people have been saying that I need a haircut and you're most likely correct. I probably do need a haircut, but I'm gonna let it grow for a little while and come spring, I'll probably be like, it's getting warm and I'll chop it all off. But until then, I'll probably have a little bit longer hair. <sighs> There's a couple things I wanted to show you from inside the house. <sighs> One is that it is starting to snow again. It's really coming down. It's supposed to snow basically all night. And the second thing I wanted to show you, is remember when we were talking about the snow that was uh, outside of the sunroom window? That's it. You can see the garage a little bit over there. The snow has officially blocked the window. This is unreal. Like you can see 
right here, the snow is actually against the window. Which means we're gonna have to get out there and shovel this snow away from the window so that it doesn't cause any problems. That is extremely unfortunate and I am not excited for that. Real missed opportunity to have that window just be doors. <sighs> we have to crawl. What's the matter? I know, you want the golf balls, but you can't have the golf balls. You have these eggs, they kind of look like a golf ball. We have this window that we have to climb in and out of to access our wood storage, which is fine, but we built this house ourselves. Why didn't we think ahead? I don't even think we thought about wood storage when we were building the house. We were like, oh yeah, we'll have like, you know, a wood stove and we'll have like fire stacked next to it. Not thinking that like you have to have this giant surplus of wood storage outside of the house somewhere. So we've decided to store it under the deck, which keeps it dry and it's like a nice storage place for it. But the only way to access it without going through feet of snow is to go through the basement window. And if our basement was a walkout, it would be really easy, but it's not. So we have to climb out of a window. Maybe in the future we'll cut out a door shape and turn it into a walkout. But for right now, it's just a big pain in the butt. Look at this. All right, well, just when I thought we were gonna have a nice relaxing night, I went and took a shower, getting ready to make some dinner. The roof finally sloughed off of the garage. I'm excited. It would sound like a good thing, except for the fact that the snow didn't even make it to the ground. I mean, it did, but the ground is at the roof. So all this snow that's on the roof right here isn't going anywhere. Yeah. It's just stuck up there. The good thing is all of that really thick ice and all of the icicles came down. Uh, also the bad thing is now it's completely like barricaded our driveway off. That's like five feet deep. There's tons of icicles and ice at the bottom of it. Frank is enjoying eating it right now. <laughs> <sighs> so like the fourth time in like 30 hours, I'm going out to snow blow the driveway again. But honestly guys, I think with that said, this is where we're gonna let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure. If you guys are rooting for us or feeling bad for us or hoping that the snow overtakes us, let us know in the comments and make sure you guys let us know by giving us a big thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Fabric for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. Y'all riding shotgun The feeling will change I'm wide awake Take me away now